Hi everybody, uh, just out at the beautiful Karapiro Lake today, running through uh, our new Gen 2 FC700 Fin Chaser. The reason we've done a Gen 2 is we've learnt a lot uh, from Gen 1, but mainly there's some new technology that's hit the market. The um, new Seakeeper Ride trim tabs that work 100 times a second to give you more stability and control uh, both your and pitch on the boat are a fantastic bit of equipment. When we saw these and tested these uh, last year, we knew that we could put a little bit more finer entry into our normal hull. And in doing that, we've made a couple of improvements with a slightly wider wheelbase at the back for stability on the road. And uh, Mercury have also come out with their electric steering. So that takes away the big uh, amperage draw that we had with the hydraulic electric, and it allows us just to plug and play autopilot in so that makes it super easy so the boat basically hasn't changed a lot some very subtle small changes but it's given us an even smoother ride and more stability well underway so we're really pleased with how this has uh, turned out just done a little bit of testing out here on the lake and the sea keeper rides are working brilliantly if one of one person on board walks to one side it's instant it, it reads that and it reacts a hundred times a second so these Seakeeper rides are going to change the way trailer boats and, and craft in general operate out on the water. So basically the boat's the same layout, finer entry, we've got a wider wheelbase at the back, we've got the Seakeeper rides and the electric, Mercury electric steering instead of the hydraulic electric steering. Apart from that, everything's the same. We've got lots of fishing room, we've got the double buoyancy, the live bait tank, and all those normal things that we build into the FC Fin Chaser range. Another uh, couple of features that we've updated on the boat is uh, because of garaging, we've done the new shorter bow. So this boat's a seven metre boat and it can fit in an eight metre garage and our six metre can fit in a seven metre garage. We used to have, and most boats have a long bow spit and basically when they're stowed in the garage, that's just taking up space and it doesn't allow you to close the door. So we've gone for the offset anchoring, and then this is the new Minn Kota Quest, which is auto deploy. So this is the 36 volt version with lithium batteries, and we've got the solar charging on the roof. So we've had this boat in stock now three months and it's never been on the charger, it just self charges. And it deploys fairly easily. Press of a button from inside the cabin. The Minn Kota deploys. Holds you on the spot in between muscle boys next to another boat over your favourite reef and it's more accurate than using an anchor because it doesn't sway around in the wind. Fantastic piece of equipment. Stow it is simply another press of the button when you're ready to change spots and if you want to you can jog two metres to the left, two metres to the right. It's all very simple. A couple more features that we have in our boats here. We've got the underfloor dive tank storage. So you can get three large bottles in there. They're out of the way, they're not rolling around. And our 100 odd litre plus passive live bait tank, which all the fin chasers have now. That's got a through hole pickup for when you're trolling or moving from spot to spot. Bait board with the drawer. Put some tackle in, that's another option that we've got nowadays. And moving forward, this boat's option with the shock absorber seat. Be a nice comfy ride. Down in the cabin forward, we've got the privacy curtain and there's a flush toilet up the front. For anybody that needs to use that during the day. Most of our boats come with fusion stereos that are Bluetooth capable. We can use Lowrance, Simrad, uh, Garmin, and Raymarine as far as sounders go. They give you lots of options with the video of the front wheel. So that's showing your front wheel down here for the steering when you're putting it on the trailer. Got our digital gauges. Here's your forward and reverse on the Anura system for driving. 
and over here is the Mercury Digital Throttle System. Also comes with active trim that we can set up so you don't need to trim the boat and obviously the Seakeeper Ride automatic trim tabs and that takes all the work out of keeping the boat level when there's windage or differences in loading. Thanks very much, we'll see you soon.